What's going on guys? It's Omni York and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where I'm going to be giving you my guide to Mulan in Rise of Kingdoms. I can't believe I haven't made a guide for Mulan yet. Guys, before we jump into it, a quick thing. I just want to talk about this new hoodie design. This previously this design was only available in t-shirt form. You can now get it as a hoodie in my apparel store. Link is in the description. I also lowered the prices of hoodies by over 10% over in the store. Absolutely no obligation whatsoever to support me in the form of apparel it's totally fine all i ask ever of you guys is you just watch the videos that that's fine with me but for those of you who were interested in this design you can now get it as a hoodie obviously it says once more into the breach because my boy richard gotta love it this is their premium hoodie so the material actually does feel really really good but just one quick thing if you do order this specific hoodie the size runs pretty much form fitted so if you are a medium getting a medium will be form fitted if you want it a little bit more uh comfortable and a little bit more relaxed i would get a size larger i'm a medium this is a medium and I'm, i don't know if i wash it and dry it maybe it'll shrink a little bit just throwing that out there don't get mad at me guys i only talk about my apparel like twice a year okay so that's that now last thing 80 percent of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed so click that subscribe button what's up man what's up click the sub button click the bell button i really appreciate it and it helps out the channel a ton now mulan cheers a cold one with the boys Mulan the legendary heroine Mulan is a legendary integration peacekeeping and support commander you can get Mulan from the tavern you can get sculptures of her from the gold chests in there you can also summon her from the gold chests you can also get her from the daily special offers now personally that's who I am purchasing at the moment and you can also convert your universals into Mulan although I would argue that that's not a great idea unless you're a really really big spender in the game or if you play a crucial crucial role in your Aquabus Iris team all right let's take a look at Mulan's skills so we have a little bit of a better idea as to what exactly she's doing as a legendary commander her her first skill rage requirement of a thousand essentially what it does is it, it provides an aoe buff in a circular area that boosts her army and all allied armies nearby with a 15 percent attack defense and health bonus as well as a 25 percent increase in march speed the downside it's only for two seconds so powerful buff it stacks with joan of arc's buff as well which is crazy good that march speed is amazing for Ark of osiris but again two seconds powerful but short her second skill is called heart of a warrior and essentially what this does is that when she's surrounded the damage she takes is reduced by five percent also when she's attacked there's a 20 percent chance to reduce the attacker's rage by upwards of a hundred and that effect can only trigger once every five seconds so this is kind of some anti-swarm technology built into mulan here the cooldown on the rage reduction is unfortunate but the rage reduction is very powerful if you're going to be leveling up mulan you want to get that first skill to five then get that second skill to five before moving on and you'll see why in a second now i know we have that skill lock feature coming but at the time we're recording this we don't have it just yet her third skill con slayer it gives her army upwards of 95 percent extra experience so both for mulan and for whoever else she's with super super good for leveling up your commanders but it's not useful in combat against other players her fourth skill is called one of a kind general essentially this gives her army a 20 percent attack buff and when she's secondary commander her active skill going off causes the target that you're hitting to take 20 percent increased damage from all sources for three seconds so between this and that first skill you can see the support possibilities with mulan are endless i mean swarming down a target in the open fields is a lot easier when mulan is around because that is really powerful finally her expertise enhances her first skill so instead of it being a 15 percent buff to attack defense and health it's a 20 percent buff to all three stats and a 30 percent increase in march speed for three seconds so this is a 50 percent buff in the longevity of this skill and that's the key there right yeah the extra 15 percent of stats that's good the extra five percent march speed that's great as well but the best part is that it extends that buff from two seconds to three seconds and that doesn't sound like a big deal but it is as far as talent builds go this is actually the only talent build that i'm going to recommend in the video the reason for that is because mulan is only ever going to do two things she's either going to be your peacekeeper primary or she's going to be secondary in pvp fights because of that fourth skill the utility there only pops off when she's secondary and the integration tree is really not good same with the peacekeeping tree so really you don't have a great talent build for her for pvp anyway so yeah we went all the way to the top of the peacekeeping tree we also get 
the extra goodies over here we have the rage regeneration over here from rejuvenate with the support tree is really good we also went up here and grabbed the extra march speed in the integration tree this is honestly the only build you're going to need for her and with that out of the way let's break down mulan into our categories first category as always is the open field category and mulan shines here and that's because of the aoe buffs and all the support that she's providing in the open field she's incredibly valuable she does get targeted because of that she's essentially a legendary version of joan of arc but having a mulan on the battlefield especially when expertise is going to be a big nice juicy buff for everybody involved because of that she gets an a tier ranking for the open field combat the next two categories are rallying objectives and rallying cities now Mulan does give you a 20% attack buff and she does have that nice damage taken increase of 20%. So I guess if you're going to be rallying and then swarming, that's nice plus the rage reduction, but there's just not really that many great uses for Mulan in a rallying scenario. She's not usually going to be your top choice or your second choice or your third choice or your fourth choice. So for both of these categories, Mulan gets a C tier ranking. Again, she's better than some, but she is, she's outclassed by a lot. And the swarm scenario is pretty uncommon. I would say the next two categories are defending objectives and defending cities. And Mulan is not good. She's not good. She's not good. Don't do it with Mulan. Don't just, just don't put her on the wall. Don't put her in a flag. Just it's not come on what are you doing like her only tankiness applies when she's surrounded and it's only five percent there's just really not a great reason to put Mulan in either of these scenarios and because of that she gets a D ranking for both of those categories next is Canyon and Mulan shines here as well for the same reason she shines in the open field this is gonna be a trend throughout these videos but if they're great in open field there's a good chance they're good in Canyon as well and that applies to Mulan too you see a lot of Joan of Arcs in Canyon and you'll see a lot of Mulans from powerful players for the exact same reason you're providing a huge buff to basically all of your armies in Canyon. She's a great support secondary. And because of that, she gets an A tier ranking in the Canyon category. And the final category is Barb sports that PVE content Mulan is built for. She has the peacekeeping tree. You get 95% extra experience. That is more experience gain than any other commander in the entire game. And because of those two things, Mulan gets an A. She gets an A. She's great at peacekeeping. You can throw her into pretty much any army as a secondary or even as a primary and slay those barbs boys just slay those barbs so if we take a look at mulan as a whole as a legendary as an investment where does she fall what tier is mulan and ultimately mulan is a c tier legendary commander now i said a lot of great things about mulan in this video but you got to remember three categories got an a four categories she could use some pretty big improvement on she's good for one thing right there's no doubt about it she provides incredible buffs to you and you all of your nearby allies but that's pretty much it right you're not going to be hitting objectives you're not going to be defending objectives and she's also a gold key commander right so you're going to be getting her over time for free so putting a universals into her isn't that great of an idea she is a very powerful aoe buff she has a very strong single target debuff in the form of reducing their rage and also increasing the damage that they're taking and she gives you the most experience out of any commander however you really need her to be expertise that's that's really the, the biggest flaw and the thing that's keeping her in the c category is you really want her expertise and if you're just getting her from gold keys you're probably never going to expertise her in that way she's also targeted immediately in open field fights as soon as you see a mulan as a secondary you're probably going to have the entire alliance on them because she's just so powerful that getting rid of her is top priority and so if you are a low power free to play player having mulan is having a huge target on your back and also unlike some of the best legendaries in the game she doesn't focus on a specific troop type and you're going to see some of the best legendaries in the game do focus just on one troop type and do that one thing amazing mulan here is you know you could throw her into any army which is convenient but the benefit you get from those specific troop type trees is just very high in the stat department i've said it a million times and i'll say it again mulan was a huge missed opportunity for you lilith seriously lilith you could have put her where ethel fled goes after ex expertising her i don't see why they didn't do that they introduced an amazing awesome competitive but not broken legendary and then they put her in the gold chest dude i don't understand it lilith if you're listening replace ethel fled for those players who've expertised her with mulan and i think well you'll make the community really really happy especially those free to play players guys with that being said if you made it all the way to the end of the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out the channel a ton subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified 
notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on Instagram Twitter discord Facebook it's all in the description and Instagram saw this new hoodie first so of course there's gonna be some sneak peeks over there on my Instagram so go ahead and follow me over there as always there's a link in the description below to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your PC or your Mac it's a program called blue stacks and it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms I mean seriously this game is so beautiful seeing it on a big screen is just it's a quality of life thing it's a huge improvement and the game just it looks so good like I said it's free click the link give it a try with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace